Trailer's got plumbed in a switchover valve. Both with hand twisting nozzles so you don't need a spanner. Front. So the hatch opens the full span of the front. So you've got good service area. You can contact the people. That was quite high counter as well. Um, so it's quite convenient work height. The counter height is made out of hammered copper. It's got a bit of pretty shiny. Get a link to it. So yeah, hatch all the way along the top. We haven't put the signage up. The signage is roughly the same height as the trailer again. Full, full stretch of the extra scaffolding on top. And to the back, we have the gas cupboard, um, useful storing fire extinguishers, etc. Rear door into the trailer. So, here we go from the inside. Big service hatch, so it's good con connectivity with the customers. We've got a fridge. And the counter, another under counter fridge there. Twin sink, burka, a boiler, boiler with extended tap which reaches out the back for the door so you can actually have hot water coming straight out of that. Let it go into a sink so you can fill up large amounts of um, hot water to do washing quickly. Uh, along the rear, so we've got a hand dryer. Ventilation on the top with extractor fans. And metal cladding on the back, all the shelves. Useful storage. Currently has a gridlin microwave four burner gas hob. So as seen from the back, this is the pass through to the outside. That's one. And then there, and dryer. Stainless steel cabinet, storage underneath. Six burner Parry Bamari gas. And then it runs right to there. So we've got electric sockets there. That is a light. It runs all the way along the top. So for the rest of them, it's quite nice and unoffensive light. And then we've got a couple of gas pipes that run around where they enter, um, which is at the back, comes through, and then it runs to the various areas where these items can be plumbed in. The trailer comes with a detachable tow bar. Um, takes about 30 seconds to remove and it's doable with one person but much easier with two people to detach it. Perks of that is you can reverse, you can back it into a spot uh, and then detach the tow bar, meaning that the trailer fits in a five meter pitch. Um, that means you don't pay for the additional tow bar space. So once you're backed in, also means within that five meters, the whole trailer has working space. Uh, of that size to maximise it. And here is a spare tyre. This is an electrical hatch where we feed out the con electrical connection and then a hatch that allows the pass through from the inside uh, to the outside of the trailer so the prep behind the scenes can go through. Also help the air flow through the trailer. On the roof there's a solid metal structure hinged to the front of the thing and it can be lifted up by one person and the benefits of that it is quite heavy but we've got a sign on there and our wooden backing to make it look like an age trailer but obviously that could be stripped with any design as they wished um, and that means you can have a very clear signage from afar it is large lettering we have we also had an additional banner attached above which probably made the signage of the full size of the trailer tall. Uh, three roof lights all on the top.